Hi everyone, my name is Josie and if you're taking your DAT soon or you're thinking about it and you want to know how to handle practice exams, I wanted to just make something for you guys so you see what I used and how I structured when I took practice exams and where I got them. So the first thing that I did was I took a diagnostic exam. A diagnostic exam for me was to create a baseline for my progress because this process can be discouraging for some people or it might be a little daunting. So I wanted to see my initial stance with the DAT and then I wanted to see how I progressed slowly Maybe I wasn't having a good day the day that I took another practice test, but I want to see my improvement compared to my actual baseline. So I recommend that you take a diagnostic exam with your least useful practice exam. I got a used Kaplan book from Amazon and that had a free exam in the back. A lot of times I want to make you feel like you need to take their prep course. So tread lightly with that, don't take it too seriously. If you did well, great. If not, there's always room for improvement. So that was my first diagnostic, the Kaplan book. For my other practice exams, I did them inside DAT Bootcamp and I did that because they have a ton of exams. So I did individual subject tests with them and then I did the individual subject tests as full length tests. If you haven't heard of DAT Bootcamp, it's $147 for 90 days, or at least it was that price when I got it. You can definitely check. Um, but it was really useful for me. It mimics the interface of the actual exam, so I highly recommend it. And I think that you guys should not be studying for the DAT without DAT Bootcamp. Hands down, my favorite resource that I used when I was studying. The way that I used it was by taking an individual subject test every once in a while for each section when I felt like I wanted to take one. And then the last five I used as full length practice tests. I treated them as if they were a real test. I opened each of the individual subject tests up in a different tab, had them ready to go so I could just switch to them when my timer would ring, and I used an app that I could set up sections in for the entire testing experience, and I never had to touch my phone. And once you get DAT Bootcamp, or if you have it, you'll know what I'm talking about, about being able to open the different sections. So that's what I recommend. Then you need two practice tests that are extremely important and that would be the 2007 ADA sample test and the 2009. I studied for eight weeks for my DAT. I took obviously my diagnostic in the beginning, then I took the DAT bootcamp ones throughout, and then I took my 2007 DAT four weeks before my testing date where I had already studied four weeks prior to that. And then the 2009 DAT, I took the Monday before my exam. And I did this because I had heard that the 2009 DAT was the most indicative of what your regular score was going to be. And boy, were they right. That 2009 DAT was pretty much spot on, except for reading comprehension and quantitative reasoning. The 2009 DAT was pretty much spot on for what I got on my real exam. So I recommend that. I know sometimes people get actually a little lower and obviously take this with a grain of salt. I know some people that didn't do well in the 2009 DAT and they actually ended up doing really well on the real exam. Um, so I, I'm a firm believer that it's a really good indicator if you don't get around that 2019 for several of those sections on the 2009 DAT, then it would probably be a good indication to reschedule. For the 2007 DAT, it really isn't the same. It's actually considered an easier exam and that's why I took it four weeks before just to get another uh, flow of real DAT questions and how they ask them. 
but the trick with the DT is to practice, practice, practice in a practice setting as much as possible. The more you do that, the more you build up your endurance, the more you get comfortable so that when you get to testing day, you're like, I already know how to do this. I've seen the questions. Um, I know the instructions. You can blow through the instructions. You don't need to do any of that. So I recommend getting your hands on as many practice exams as possible and making the 2009 DAT your guideline to let you know whether you should reschedule or not. So that was my advice on practice exams. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe, and if you want to know more about my DAT experience or if you have any specific questions, let me know and I would be more than happy to answer them. I'll see you guys next time.